You're watching a free lesson for my full course on creating a 360 character rig in Moho 14. If you find this lesson helpful, the full course covers every chapter in detail with step-by-step -step guidance to help you build your own complete 360 rig. Now let's dive in. Tracing your character in Moho. In this section, we'll break our character into individual parts and trace them inside Moho. This setup is essential for building a rig that moves naturally while staying on model. Why start with the 3-4 front view? I always begin tracing from the front 3-4 view because it's the most neutral and versatile pose. It shows both sides of the character equally. It makes aligning bones and shape easier, and it provides a strong reference for other views. So for step one, you want to import reference drawings. To import your reference drawings, go to File, Import, and General Import. Select your Photoshop exported reference images. Once they are imported, organize your reference layers in Moho's layer panel. Good organization here saves tons of time later. Step two is planning your layer structure. Before drawing, take a moment to plan how the character will be separated. Think about what will need to move independently during the animation. For example, head group, which includes the head, the hairs, the ears, the eyes, the mouth, and the eyebrows. The torso group will include the chest, the stomach, and the hips. Limbs, upper arm, lower arms, hands, upper legs, lower legs, and sometimes the shoes. Here's a pro tip. I often do this planning stage in Photoshop first, literally labeling the parts so when I get in Moho, I know exactly what to draw. Step three, tracing the character. We'll trace the artwork using Moho's Add Points tool. Since this is an advanced rigging course, I'll assume you already understand the basics of point manipulation and shape creation. Start with the head and main body pieces. Then trace the limbs, keeping pivot points in mind. For example, draw the upper and lower arm so they connect cleanly at the elbow. For the arms and legs, I like to block them out using simple rectangles and ovals with the shape tool. Then I use the move points to select the coordinate script to tweak the points and match the character designs. 
This keeps the geometry clean and makes deformations smoother later. For the shoes, I draw each panel individually. We'll later place these inside a switch group to toggle between different views during the 360 rotation. And the final step in this chapter, step four, clean up and prepare for rigging. Once everything is traced, fill each shape with a temporary solid color. I usually use white. This helps you clearly see the overlapping shapes.
mere symmetrical parts like arms and legs to speed up the process. Carefully check alignment. Make sure everything lines up perfectly, especially where joints meet. Switch to your final color palette if you have one and apply the colors to each shape. And finally, add shadows or shading shapes if your rig will need them for extra depth. At this point, your character artwork is ready for bone setup and binding.